Lindsay on Gears. But let's take a look at the world of Formula One. Of course, there is no practice day on a Friday in Monaco. We did that all yesterday. Nico Rosberg fastest in both free practice sessions, just ahead of his teammate, um, Lewis Hamilton. Now, does it mean cut and dried that Rosberg or Hamilton are going to lock out the front row for the uh, Mercedes team? Let's have a little uh, look in history. The last four Grand Prix, last three Grand Prix, have all gone pole position to Hamilton, Rosberg, Rosberg, all Mercedes. Mm. It's a single lap pace. They are extraordinarily fast. Problem is pressure when it comes to driving around the Monaco circuit. And we're going to see that tomorrow. Free practice three should be very quick. And then, of course, qualifying. One mistake. You're out. We've seen it with so many drivers over the years. You've got to be able to have so much focus, so much concentration around the circuit. It's uh, it's quite extraordinary. You know that they change gears every two seconds, on average, around the circuit for 78 laps. Yeah. It's over 2,000 gear changes. It's uh, it's an incredible feat of uh, any driver. So. Uh, yesterday, Rosberg, Hamilton, Alonso, Massa were down there. They were half a second off the pace. Then we had first of the Red Bulls. Now, Mark Webb is a guy. Watch out for him. He's won the last two Red Bull um, uh, Monaco Grand Prix. He more than likely should have won when he was with Jaguar, and he should have won when he was with Williams as well. He is a Monaco specialist, and he lives there. Raikkonen also lives there, and Raikkonen, I think, is going to be uh, very quick. Romain Grosjean, the only driver who crashed yesterday, was a full second off the pace. But let me tell you, Romain Grosjean, I know, and people go, oh, God, I got Sasha again about Romain <laughs> Grosjean. I'm putting him for pole position. Really? I'm putting Grosjean to clip out the two Mercedes drivers. I have a feeling that around the circuit, the Ferrari and the Lotus might be able to match the Mercedes. Even though it's four tenths of a second from yesterday, Alonso said he wasn't pushing that hard, Massa said he wasn't pushing that hard, and Raikkonen said he wasn't pushing that hard. So, I think it is going to be very, very difficult to beat the Mercedes. But I've got a feeling Romain Grosjean just might be the person to do it. The Red Bulls definitely have an issue when it comes to the single lap pace at the moment. Vettel was down in 10th, uh, ninth position yesterday. But don't discount them. They know this track. They know how to win here, especially in Weber's hands. Vettel's won here as well. Um, and they are the world champions. So don't discount Red Bull at all. In terms of a couple of outsiders, maybe watch out for the two um, Force Indias. They're really on a really good run. I think they might be able to pip out one of the McLarens uh, when it comes to uh, qualifying three. But it, it's all hypothetical because Monaco can throw up something really, really strange. You could have th somebody who blitzes around there, does an incredible time, and the next session crashes into the wall. That's how Monaco works. So it is very much a lottery when it comes to um, uh, choosing your predictions for the Super Brew. Before we get to the Super Brew, Pirelli have threatened to pull out of Formula 1 if the teams do not agree and answer to the deal that they have uh, put forward. Talks between the Italian tire manufacturer and the teams about a new contract have stalled. And Pirelli says time is running out for it to produce tires to be fully ready for the new 2014 regulations. Now, this is quite a predicament. We've heard the rumors for the last couple of years that the Korean company Hankook are very, very keen to get into Formula One. Pirelli, of course, want to stay there, I think, um, as long as the deal works for them. Hankook um, could well be, uh, could well come into to Formula One. But if you think about it, with only eight months to go before the 2014 season, with these massive changes, most probably the biggest technical uh, regulation changes in 25 years, um, will Hankook be able to make a tire that suits these cars? So, you know, there, there's a lot of talk that's going on in Monaco at the moment. So, let's just hope they sort it out sooner than later. Raikkonen believes that he has the pace to match the single lap speed of the rival's Mercedes. So, um, even though he finished 1.3 seconds down. So, maybe just talking up a little bit, but maybe also uh, looking at things saying uh, it'll be okay. 
Alexander Wirtz says Rosberg is going to beat Hamilton and win the Monaco Grand Prix this weekend. Well, I mentioned it yesterday. Monaco, it's incredibly difficult, just about impossible to overtake around the streets of uh, Monaco. So we could see a 22-car train for a lot of the race if the two Mercedes get in the front and they don't wear uh, and they don't um, look after their tires too well. I think we're only in for a two-stop strategy. It's the soft and the super softs that are going to be working uh, this coming weekend. I think the difference between the super softs and the soft is about eight tenths to a second. So there is quite a significant difference. So if somebody pits early and somebody's got clean air in front of them, they could put in a lap that could actually change and uh, and perhaps even win the race. So we're in for a really, really exciting uh, Grand Prix. So let's look at our super brew here, Daisy. Who have you got for Paul? Lewis. Yes. Because he's your man. Yes. Even though he didn't reply to your tweet. He will. He will. One day. Who do you think's going to win? Lewis. Lewis. Second. Rosberg. Third. Alonso. All right. I've got Rosberg to win. Raikkonen second. Alonso third. Who have you got fourth? Raikkonen. I've got Hamilton. <laughs> Who have you got fifth? Vettel. I've got Vettel. Ooh. Who have you got sixth? Massa. I've got Weber, I think. Yes, Weber. All right, seventh. Weber. Okay, I've got Massa. Eighth. Grosjean. Yeah, I think Grosjean's going to start on pole, but he's going to have something wrong go wrong in the pits, unfortunately. Um, ninth. Deresta. Good call there. Good call there. I'm, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Sergio Perez, actually. And tenth. Perez. <laughs> and 10th, I'm going to go with Jensen Button. How's that? Cool. Uh, your picks are not saved yet. Submit the picks, Daisy. I've done it already. Excellent. Oh, I have to make the fastest lap pick. Who do you think is going to get the fastest lap? I said Rosberg. All right. I think someone's going to go out really late after having a coming together, and I'm going to throw it down as uh, Esteban Guterres. There we go. Submit my picks. Done. <coughs> cool. we'll see how wrong we all are <laughs> on monday um don't forget as mentioned earlier we have an hour and a half build up on super sport this coming sunday from half past 12 all the way through until two o'clock so we'll go through gp2 action we'll go through all of uh well not all of the qualifying action but the most important points of the qualifying action also we will show you all of the new helmets that the uh, drivers are going to be wearing this weekend so uh, make sure you join us half past 12 on sunday uh, afternoon on Supersport for the Monaco Grand Prix. At the next intersection, turn on Gears with Sasha Martinengo. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time. <laughs>